Hello and welcome to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing something very special. I'm going to be looking at this. So this beauty is the new grip from Skull & Co, made specifically for the Nintendo Switch OLED, but finding out also works with the OG Switch. Now, did you know that the Nintendo Switch OLED is ever so slightly wider than the OG, meaning that some grips and accessories that you may have may not work? Well, they've thought of this in this grip. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing it, Going through its look and feel, lovely, there we go, we're in. And of course, fitting a Nintendo Switch OLED in and trying the OG Switch too. I would suggest if you've got an original Switch, get this grip. So if you want to see more Switch OLED content, do subscribe and sit back and relax as I turn up the lights and put this down on the tech desk and have an in-depth look at the Neo Grip from Skull & Co. Welcome down onto the tech desk, and as you saw in the introduction, and as we saw in the unboxing, we're going to be looking at this today. This is the Neo Grip from Skull & Co. This is their latest grip, very new, and let me tell you now, it is superb. If you're thinking about getting a grip for this Switch OLED, or the original Switch, which I'll talk to you about later, this is the grip for you. It is fantastic. Okay, so you saw what we get in the box. I just wanted to take a moment because when I was unboxing, I didn't realize it came with these few things when I was looking through it. And I think this is why I love Skull & Coat. Okay, so it gave you some little bits of extras. So you get these little bit sticky dots here. So if you feel like your switch is touching any of the plastic, it's included some extra dots there that you can put on to pad it to stop it touching the plastic, which is a really nice addition. I really appreciate that. Also, it, they've included a tempered glass screen protector. I haven't actually fitted this yet, um, but I will be at some point. I just haven't done it yet. That's the, the tempered glass. And it just comes with some bits as well. But look, again, what I was saying about this, the small things as well. Look, they've even like branded bag. So Rhino Glass Screen Protector, the branded Skull & Co bag. It's just the little things I really appreciate. And you know when you're spending your money, you, you, you know you're going to get a company that are looking after you and they give you little bits of extras as well. So that's fantastic. That all comes in the box. So this is the grip itself. Let's go over it. It's all plastic apart from these three tiny screws. And those three tiny screws, talk about later. Really interesting, that bit. Really good. So it's all plastic. Very, very light. This is 74 grams. That is tiny. Even if you add on a couple of the, the two big ones here, if you put on these trigger grips here, it's only 100 grams. So it's a really light piece, not going to add any weight to your switch. Um, so I was saying it's all plastic apart from these foam here. So there's, this is a white foam pad and this is rubber, these three bits here. And this is like a foam pad. And then it's got a couple of foamy pads, uh, rubbery pads down there. Again, as I said before, if you want to, you can stick some foam pads in the sides there if you want to, or more in the sides or in the back there, entirely up to you. And then spinning over, we have the, the, the superb kind of like trigger locking system, the, the grip locking system here for Skull & Co on either side that we're, we're used to with Skull & Co stuff. Fantastic. Skull & Co branding. This is Neo Grip with the uh, locking system. Okay, so this is a locking system, which I'll talk about in a bit. Okay, and then that's it. This is a complete departure from what they normally do because if you've only got the skull and grip or if you've seen any of my other videos they kind of have like a wrap around shell the original one had a big um, colored one like a black one or you know, the colors and they had a crystal grip as well which was a see-through version but they've gone completely different with this with a big cutout there and then for obvious reasons that big cutout is for the switch OLED which means that you can use the the newly designed kickstand with this and then also you get these these famous 
um, grips as well. So there's these ones, these ones, and these ones. So I call these small, medium, and trigger, but I think they're called plus. So these are the plus ones. These are the nice big ones. These are called snap. So these are the smaller versions, and these are the triggers for obvious reasons, because they look like they've got some triggers on there like that. Now these are my favorite, the triggers. I use these, and all my Skull & Co grips, these are the ones that I use. But if I'm ever taking it away into a smaller case, I stick these on. Okay, so let's put the switch in. And the way you do that is this locking mechanism thing here. What you do is you just pop this off like that. It just slides off. You get your switch, so this is an OLED switch. You slide it in like that spin it over and then put this locking piece back in there like that and just make sure that it clips in there so that's nicely locked there so we know that it's keeping the switch in and it is an incredible fit it is beautiful like I said it will only touch the padding so there's no chance for scratching I've been using this all weekend and I've been taking it in and out in and out it hasn't touched my switch at all as we said we can use the the kickstand at the back there enough room for it to ping out perfectly fitted around there so if you did want to use it you can do at any angle that you, you're um sorry with your kickstand any angle you want to okay then what you can do is you're going to choose uh which which ones you want whether it's the kind of small medium or trigger up to you let's go for the trigger because they're my favorite and we have that beautiful snapping sound when it clicks in beautiful and then one on the other side lovely there we go we're in and it's it, it's classic skull and co it is just super super comfortable it is phenomenal i think if you're gonna need a, a grip for your switch this is the one to go for i just love it and if this one's too big if these ones are too big you just pop them off and just stick whichever one you want on uh let's stick the, the snap on lovely and if you want it on either side different ones can do if you want to do you? I absolutely love it so if you're gonna be as I said before if you're gonna be taking this away into another case you're probably gonna want these on because it doesn't add too much width to the OLED there it's I mean it's not too bad I mean there's a few millimeters probably just under a centimeter either side so you could probably fit these in other cases but we don't want to do that you want to get yourself one of these so this new grip I've got here comes with the Max Carry case, and this Max Carry case is exactly the same as the um, the Crystal grip. It's not the same as the original Skull & Co case, because the original Skull & Co case is smaller because the grips don't stick out as much, but the Crystal grips stick out, and these, the um, when you've got these bigger ones on, they do stick out from the side, so you're gonna need the Max Carry case. As far as I can tell, exactly the same. So when you flop it open, you get a nice big, pocket in there which is beautifully lined to protect any cables and things you want there um, you might be able to fit an American plug in there you can't fit a UK plug because they're huge and they're never gonna fit in there and then on here you've got this flap which carries 10 games so you can put 10 games in there bit of velcro you are folding up and you've got this beautiful lining in here this is where your switch is gonna sit in there like that so this bit will cover the screen and it covers it beautifully and nicely protects it and then fold it up again and you've kind of got a storage space in here you could put some bits in there if you want to if you're using the smaller grips you could probably put things in here but if you're using the bigger grips this is where your grips are going to sit and you could put some extra cables uh, the extra grips if you need to in there so anything you need this flap here doubles up so you fold it over there and you've got yourself a, um, a kind of like a, a resting bit there like a there so you can sit with your with your, um, your switch on there if you want to but I've never actually used that. And with the new uh, kickstand, I can't see why you'd want to use that because the new kickstand is such a massive improvement over the OG kickstand. Okay. So let's quickly ping these off and put the bigger ones on. And then put it, if we put it into the case, you'll see. So first flap up, put it on there. So it fits in there. Beautiful absolute brilliant fit and if you've got the um, audio stick this will fit in here and you can use this it's got about a 10 millimeter clearance which means you can use it if you can charge it in the switch and then that folds over onto the screen and then that lock it up lovely carry this around with you this case is absolutely phenomenal um, I use it even if I'm not using the skull and co grips and I'm just taking like my light away or whatever I just use this case because I just think it's fantastic 
So now I just want to show you that it does indeed dock. So here I have my OLED dock and the switch OLED and it's got the trigger grips on. So let's plunk it in, easy. Plenty of gap in between there, no problem at all. The only thing is with the bigger grips, you're gonna lose kind of a bit of functionality of the USB. You probably get something in there, no problem. There might be a tight fit, but if you've got the, the smaller snap grips on, I shouldn't worry about that at all. So docks, absolutely perfectly. Right, next up, we're gonna be talking about backwards compatibility. Okay, so if you have an old Skull & Co case, so this is the Crystal Grip Skull & Co case, and I'll just show you that they are absolutely identical. I can't, I can't find a difference between them. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So we know this is fantastic. If we pop this open inside, I have the crystal grip here with some grips. Now let's choose my favorite. Let's choose the trigger grips here. Is I'm just gonna show you, if you have any other colors, cause I know they do loads of colors. If you've got some different colors here and you wanna see if it fits onto here, let me show you. If I take off that one there, uh, and then, which one is it, blue, there. There we go, look, okay? So if you do have any specifically colored ones here, it fits it, an absolute dream. So for example, if you want to do, put some different Joy-Cons on with the Neo Grip, you can do, just to match it, there. So if you've got some old stuff and you want to upgrade, keep your trigger grips and your snap grips and your plus grips because they do fit all backwards compatible. Absolutely superb. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try it with an OG switch, okay? So let's so unlock it to take it out. You unlock it and then you can just slide the switch out. What we're gonna do is switch over there, get a couple of uh, Joy-Cons onto the original switch. So this is the, uh, a day one purchase. This is my original switch. And I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna be that. I'm gonna put it in. There it is, it's in, okay? Now, if you have a look, it does fit. Yeah, it'd be okay. It kind of moves around a little bit. You can see if I slide it all the way over that way, as far as I can, you can see that there's a bit of a gap. It's probably about three millimeters gap. The reason for that is that the OLED switch is a little bit wider than the original switch. So not all your accessories are going to work with the OLED and the original switch. Do not fear, Skull & Co have you covered. What I've said about these three, these three screws here, genius, all you do is you unscrew those three and then you see this strip of plastic here, this bit here comes out. So that is the difference between the original switch and the OLED switch. And all you do is you ping that bit of plastic out, you slide this bit that way into that gap and then screw it back up. So underneath there it has three holes there and just a couple of millimeters over it has another three holes you screw it into there so you basically condense the grip so it's a much better fit for the original switch if you want to however having said that I've been using it with the original switch without without moving it and it's okay it's just a bit loose so I would suggest if you've got an original switch get this grip and then just adjust it and also I wanted to show you as well very quickly you can use the kickstand as well with this as well so once it's all in and once it's all locked in so let's get it locked let's get it locked in okay there we go locked in you can use your kickstand at the same time and now speaking of the um the kickstand it will only work with if you're going to be using the kickstand it will only work with the smaller ones if you get any of the bigger ones on is they're just too big to work with the kickstand and same with the oled as well unfortunately I'm a big believer of having a grip with a Nintendo Switch. I don't think the Switch is particularly uncomfortable when using it, but with a grip, I just think it takes it to another level. And I think if you're looking for a grip for the Nintendo Switch, whether it be OLED or the original, you're gonna be getting one of these. And don't worry, like I said before, if you've, if you've already got a Max Carry case or if you've already got these grips, keep them because they will work with this. But you can get all different packs if you want to with them without the case, but this is absolutely phenomenal. I've been using it all weekend. I think it is brilliant. This is the grip to get for the Nintendo Switch. I'll leave links down below of where you can get hold of this. Go and have a look. Go and have a look if this is one for you, because if you want a grip, I think the Neo Grip from Skull & Co is the best. 
But there we have it then. That was my look at this, the Neo Grip from Skull & Co. It's a bit of a beauty, isn't it? As we said, fits the uh, Switch OLED, which I've got in here, and it also fits the original Switch as well. So really, if you're looking for a grip for the Nintendo Switch, no matter which one you've got, you need to be getting this bad boy. Okay, do let me know down in the comments below what you think of this. Are you thinking about picking one up? Links down below where you can get hold of this. Please leave a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you're new around here. Till the next video. Bye-bye.